Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Cindy Williams here, Wanderlust CEO, and I have my good friend, Teresa Bailey, who is not only a certified travel professional, she is a certified travel agency owner. She has been through both of our programs. Teresa, I'm so excited to have you here today. Welcome. Yes, thanks for having me, Cindy. So tell everybody, if you would, a little bit about your journey. You know, where were you before uh, kind of starting Careers on Vacation? And then now you've been through two programs and then walk us through the journey of what that's looked like for you the last couple of years. So I had been an agent for about five years um, and, you know, always in the back of my mind thinking that being an agency owner was something that was like, oh, this would be great to do one day. And just didn't really know where to go, you know, to leave a host and kind of start building my own business. And I actually happened to just, you know, as we say, have the universe open up. And I met Velia on a Disney cruise, um, just hanging out, trivia. Her and actually Natalie Condi were there um, together and met them. And we just started talking and she's so bright and open. And she was just immediately like, oh, I just started my own business and all this stuff. And I'm a travel agent too. And so she was like, if you ever want to think about it more, like give me a call. So, you know, we had a great time on the cruise together, ran into each other a few more times. And then probably about like a month or so after I got home, I was like, I really want to know more about this. And then she started to tell me her experiences. And that's sort of how I found careers on vacation, just like the regular grad program. And I will say, you know, I, I kind of had two paths being an agent for five years. Um, when I did my intake, it was, well, you could start with the grad class or you could go right into CEO, you know, deciding what you want because you have some experience with this already. And I am so glad I chose to do the grad class first because it was such a good um, refresher and it tightened up how I operated my own business, like with my clients before I then turned to, okay, now I want to join CEO because I want to bring on agents and I have no idea where to start. <laughs> so that was kind of the CEO path. I love that you brought that up because sometimes we will have those conversations and people are like, I'm an experienced agent. I've been doing this for 10 years or five years or however many years. And then we'll say, okay, but let's really, you know, but do you know about systems and processes? Do you know how to build a marketing machine? How many leads do you have coming in every day? Do you have all of these best practices in place? What are your sales at? And a lot, sometimes people are like, my sales have to be what to get into this other program? Are people even doing that? But the reason is, is we need to make sure you have that foundational strength before you can get into, and you really should have that before you open up your doors and start hiring people and showing them the path. It's kind of like, make sure your house is in order before you open the doors and grow a team. Right. So oh, I actually yeah. love that you brought that up because, um, you know, it's one of those things where getting those foundations, it, it can change everything. Just change, you know, bumping your lead flow 20% or, or closing a uh, 10% more and how that affects your bottom line and understanding those pieces. So you went through careers on vacation first, you graduate successfully graduated, got certified, and then you came to our gold digger retreat. I remember. Okay. And I think that's where, is that where you signed up for Wanderlust CEO? I did. I did. And I remember telling my husband, you know, cause we do, even though the business is, is mine, we do talk about things and okay, where's the business going to go next? What are we going to do? And I just kind of prepped him. I was like, don't be scared of the credit card charges that might come through at Gold Digger because I kind of had a feeling CEO was coming next. Yeah. And he was like, you know, I trust you. If this is, if you feel like you're with the right group of people and that, and that's the biggest thing, Cindy, is the community, you know? And then I went, it's one thing when you experience it, you know, through all the virtual ways that we try to communicate, but to go to Gold Digger and really meet a lot of people and get to see Natalie again and hang out, um, yeah, both what, the two that you mentioned are also Wanderlust CEOs. They both have their own successful agencies now. Yeah. Exactly. And then I just met other um, agents that were either already in CEO or were considering it. And and everyone was so like, oh, you have to do this. Like there, there was just no doubt at all. They were so positive about the experience. And I knew from doing COV, you know, one thing is 
this is so different because of the mindset. Mm-hmm. And I, I, you know, and until you get into the program, people don't really understand that. And so I was like, you know, I remember having a conversation with Brandon um, briefly, and I said, oh, you know, it was September, and I and I'm like, oh, COV starts it or or CEO starts in October. I'm going to wait till March. I'm going to wait till March. You know, I, I just, you know, and he's like, why? Like, why? And I was like, well, because, you know, I feel like I need to get everything in place and this is where I'm at. And he's like, or you could lose momentum, you know? And then that, in that moment, that's when I'm texting my husband going, okay, it's, it's yeah. happening and it's happening in October. Cause I didn't even really know the timeline for CEO. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like, Hey, not only did I join, I'm going to start in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, in that program we do, we, it's not, you can't, you can't just get in that program anytime. It's either fall or spring. And if we don't have enough spots, because as you know, Teresa, a lot of people stick around and stay in the program for long term because we train your agents for you, which we'll get into in a second. Um, but so, so we enroll once, maybe twice a year into that program. So let me ask, are you glad that you signed in October instead of March and got that early start? Well, Oh my goodness. Yes. A thousand percent because it was just a continuation of the roadmap I was already given to, Mm -hmm. to create my own foundation, you know, um, and keep my sales numbers up. And we've talked about this before. I'm kind of that unicorn that I don't know if I'll ever stop selling. I, I just, I really love it. Um, but what's great about it was when it came time to hire CEO made it so easy. Well, and talk Um, to people about that. What happens in CEO, right? Like, so the minute you sign up, how does the process work? I explain it all the time to people, but from your perspective, you know, why was it the thing that you needed to to grow and scale a team, a a profitable team? I think the biggest thing for me was, you know, you go through module by module, and of course you can do it at your own pace. So you know, you might stay in one module for a couple months if that's like really what you need to be focusing on. And so for me, what I found was critical is that I, I do love mentoring and teaching, but I realized that I, I, I can't be everywhere all at once. And having one-on-one conversations, I had a few agents at that time when I first started CEO. And, you know, I loved getting to talk to them all the time, but then I was like, oh, there's not enough hours in the day to continue to have one-on-one conversations and service my clients and do all the back end stuff. So really what CEO was for me was a chance to say, okay, it's going to be a little bit painful, but these next couple of months, you need to put everything that's in your brain on paper. Yeah. <laughs> everything that you want to teach somebody when they're first coming on or let them know so that their journey is a little bit easier than yours has to get on paper. And then, you know, again, one of the things you guys do is you're always like at the forefront with these programs. As I started to go, these need to be videos. <laughs> these need to be videos. They need to, they need, you know, and people learn differently. So some people aren't going to learn as well from just reading it. So then I started to kind of make, um, certain videos, you know, like we like tests, you like tests as well. So I have a whole test video that to this day, I mean, you know, we're a year and a half into hiring and all the agents still will say, this is the best video you've ever made because I I just show them exactly how I use it because they can go to the test library and there's thousands of videos and they're like, I don't know where to start. They're just overwhelmed. Yeah. And my video is 30 minutes. And so they're like, great. And then I pause it and then I watch it again. And I pause it and I watch it again. So it helps them with that step by step. And that brings up a good point too, because a lot of people don't realize when you become a Wanderlust CEO, you get a certain number of licenses where we will train your staff essentially for you with our travel professional training kit program. So if we're, we work with Teresa as the CEO, we're helping her grow her confidence, grow her leadership, grow her team, scale everything. And then your uh, new folks get TPTK. How did the TPTK help you as you kind of scaled up your numbers on your team? I mean, it's great because again, in the beginning when I was still getting documents together, I didn't necessarily want to slow down the hiring process if I had somebody I knew was a great fit. Um, And a lot of my agents, I've been really lucky, have um, 
kind of just been referred in, you know, that they've either been former clients that I'm like, yeah, they would make a great agent or, you know, referred in from a client that's like, I know somebody that really, really would love to do this. And so having TPTK was great because I didn't feel like I had to say, oh no, wait, we can't do this. You know, we can't bring you on for another three months because- You can start this afternoon. Let me turn your access on, right? Exactly. And the other thing was there were, um, a couple of agents, you and I've had this conversation before and it was, it was funny, you know, a couple of agents that were like, well, I didn't really know, um, you know, what questions I should be asking. So I Googled how to be a travel agent and Cindy Williams says, Cindy Williams says to ask this question and, and, and it was always amusing to then smile and go, yeah, Cindy's my mentor. And they're like, oh. Well, when can I sign up? <laughs> that's right. Exactly. It, and having the bench weight of Wanderlust Campus behind you to go, yeah, that's actually who's going to, to train you in these sessions, right? I love that. Well, Teresa, tell everybody, if you would, kind of where you are now. What have been your biggest wins or celebrations since, since going through the programs? Um, well, I mean, we're up to 16 agents at this point, which I think is, is amazing because the first year was a slower build doing the grad program first and not getting into CEO until the end of the year. So, um, just having the, the online, you know, onboarding being streamlined has been really helpful. And I will say another big win is just the compliments that the agents give. I mean, internally to say like, wow, this is great. And and then I get on the phone with them or I now have, I and, and you know, growing the business, now I have someone that works with them and it is my trainer and helps onboard them as well. Or, and she'll say, well, you know, they didn't really have any questions because everything feels answered. You know, they said they'll let me know when they have questions, which is great. Um, and also for us, a big thing that we wanted to do this year was you know, get over the million dollars. Um, that was always something I wanted to do as an agent on my own, and we did. Um, we, we already so did. You're in million dollar club now. That feels so good, yes. right? So that was really, really exciting. And I, I, you know, I think the other thing too is building um, that sense of community. You know, I try to make sure, I tell people all the time, you know, we might hire three or four now, but we might not hire again for six months. If we're not finding the right fit, we're not bringing them on, you know? And we did actually have someone recently interview and say, I don't understand. I mean, all the other agencies I'm talking to, they just want me to pay the fee and they'll start me tomorrow. And it's like, Nope, nope, that's, that's you know, that's not how it works. So for me, I feel like the big win is creating that sense of community where people understand that, you know, this is something we want them to be passionate about and share in this passion with their clients, but also with our other agents and, and build those friendships as well. Yeah, I think that's a good point too. Like you guys, we're not teaching people to run MLMs. That is not what we do. It's about creating a culture. It's about creating a robust business. It's about sharing your knowledge forward and, and really bringing the next generation of travel advisors into a place where they can do this in a very successful way. So I think you've put together just a beautiful company. You have amazing advisors. You guys get great reviews. You've been doing, you've been, you actually work the program, how it is meant to be worked and really leveraging all of those little tidbits of growth. So kind of the, the last thing I want to talk a little bit about is what would you want to tell people about being on the inside of Wanderlust CEO and maybe something you didn't realize or, you know, why would you recommend it or if would you recommend it to others, but, what, but specifically why? Oh yeah, I definitely recommend it to anyone that, that asks. And, you know, sometimes in these Facebook groups that we're all in as travel advisors, you'll get those anonymous posts. So I'm trying to leave my agency or, you know, and I, I don't mind saying, you know, hey, if you want to message me, I, I can tell you a little bit about something that I did that was really successful for me. I think the thing that I kind of did know from doing the grad class, but it just, it's the sense of community, like to come into the CEO program. And I think you understand as a woman, Cindy, it can be very difficult at times to be successful and have others around you fully support that. And when we, you know, when you come into the CEO program, you do have the courses and all of that, that you guys have put together, but the private Facebook group, I think was, was really critical. Um, 
even if I wasn't asking a question, just to read other people's questions and see everyone else jump in and say, well, this is my experience or that's my experience, you know, and just help each other out. And, and there's just not that, um, you know, there's no competition within it. And I really like appreciate community, that community over competition. And also I know what you're talking about because it's sometimes you, you, you know, and even being in corporate, you know, it's like walking into the executive suite, walking, you know, it's like, are they taking me seriously? Do they understand the experience that I bring? And in our environment, it's very much like we're doing big stuff and let me show you and model what big stuff looks like. And let's all inspire each other into our abundance. And you guys have to realize like we have this, this fun culture, you know, everyone that's, that's a Wanderlust campus student, my, you know, mastermind certified agents, but Wanderlust CEOs are the royalty in our community, right? So when we go to these conferences, Teresa shows up, the Wanderlust CEOs, it is like, because you guys are like in the multi-million dollar clubs, the million dollar awards, and then we have our award ceremony. And it really, so one, and the reason I share that is not talk necessarily about the community, about that you may not even realize it, but you are inspiring others in our community to go, if she did it, maybe I can do it too. If he did it, maybe I can do it too. Um, and so there's that path that where it's the whole from day one is like, I can show you how to be an advisor. I can show you how to grow a team. We can go through all these steps together, but it's been a beautiful journey. And the unexpected part for me as a mentor and coach has been to watch how you guys take this journey and just blow it up into whatever you want in your own visions, your own dreams. And it's turned into this beautiful community where people, it really is community over competition. And when we get like our conferences, I feel like are different. And you've been to lots of shows. It's very supplier, right? And the suppliers are there to show you what they got and, and what they want you to push to sell. But our conferences are all about the education and doing, you know, doing the work and getting the, doing those business building uh, tools, a uh, business building things that kind of create a bigger, uh, a bigger vision. So I love that you went to the conference and you're like, yep, I got to do the, I got to do the year long. So Teresa, thank you so much for being on the show today. I wish you nothing but success. You're not going too far. Cause you know where you're going into our grad group now, but, um, guys follow Teresa. She's doing good work out in the industry. She is fantastic. If you have questions about the Wanderlust CEO program or the COB program, all of our programs, you can find at travelschool.com. And uh, you can even take a quiz on the website. If you're not sure which one is right for you, take the quiz. It will ask you about your budget. It will ask you what your goals are, and it will match you with the recommended program for you. And then just schedule a call with enrollments. It's very, it's not like a sales call. It's kind of like, what are your goals? And we'll help match you with the fit. Um, uh, that is best for you. And we can kind of talk about enrollment from there. But Teresa, thanks for being on the show today. We're going to celebrate you. I'm going to add some confetti when I, when we're in editing <laughs> later. So, uh, I just want to, I just want to tell you, thank you. I'm so proud of all the work that you've done. You've really done a fantastic job. Oh, thank, thank you so you much, Cindy. Cindy. You're welcome. Bye guys. We'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.